Hello everyone, my name is Dwayne. I wanted to work tonight to just show you a little bit about how to make a Santa's coat. Uh, a lot of people are doing a lot of great things. I love to see all the gnomes in the groups there uh, and they're looking great, uh, doing some great stuff for the holidays coming up, for the fall, autumn season, but also as we get into the Christmas holiday season too. Uh, getting a lot of people asking about how to make coats for their Santa Clauses. And I just want to show you a simple pattern that I've come up with that I've actually used quite a bit. I enjoy making them for uh, not just the Santa Clauses. Uh, this is more of a traditional, older classic looking, but it's got a beautiful scene on the back of it here. Uh, did that with some faux fur lining it. And the traditional Santa Claus, we're going to do that with line, up with the, line it with the fur there too. Uh, but I also use this coat on several other things that I've done. Uh, I have my geisha. I've actually used the same idea in the kimono. And so we'll show you that. Uh, several of the other, like the Native American uh, that I did with them in the boat there, the hunter, that was actually using the same type of simple coat. And we're gonna try to make this easy too so you can actually use it with your different patterns too. Now, if you're using one of my patterns that I've done in the past, I simply stick with the same type of pattern. Uh, so you're gonna see the same thing over and over again. I have a body that's just six inches going up and five and a half inches across, two and a quarter, somewhere right in there across the top. But when I make that, I'm folding it, making my body and then sewing up the side there and coming up with this body here on my base. So I'm not gonna spend the time going over that today. I'm just showing you, this is how I make my base and my body. If you're doing one of my patterns, it's gonna come out something similar to that. But once you've done this, making the coat will be so easy. You'll be like surprised how easy that's gonna be because the, bot, the coat, actually all I've done is I've done the same thing as the body. I've taken it, done a fold on it, looking at the same six inches. So whatever my height is on my body, I'm gonna be using that for my coat too. And I'm cutting down an inch. So on the base there, I'm doing four and a half inches instead of five inches for my coat. So let me just show you that real quick. Let me grab a piece of felt here and we'll see if we can just make a coat here. This is gonna be our quick Santa coat here. And I'm gonna just take out my cutout here Again, I'm looking at four and a half inches across here, six inches up. Now, if you're using like a sock gnome, just again, measure that. Measure what you have going up there. If it's five inches, then do five inches. If you're using a different pattern and it's seven inches, eight inches, however long it is, use that for your height. Now, I'm using just one inch less than the body there. I've got my fold there on my felt and simply just cutting it out. You know, just cutting up the top here. Put that aside, put all this aside. And that basically is my coat. Simple as that, that's gonna be my coat. Uh, we got other cutouts here that I actually use material. This is gonna be the backing here. Simply again, I just cut that, cut that out there. I take my body, typically when I'm making a gnome, I'm gonna use the seam in the front and cover that with the beard. But for this one, I'm actually gonna put the seam in the back. The seam's not gonna show because my coat's gonna cover that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a beard, put my beard on the front. And I'm just gonna glue that down real quickly. Keep that in place. So I got my beard on the front here, so I don't have a seam underneath it. Got my seam in the back and I just take that coat and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around 
So it should come up to the beard there on each side. And I want about a half inch on the bottom here. Half inch overhang. And you'll see too where I have my, my sew across or where you bring it together up here. It's gonna be at the lowest point there. But that half inch is so when I take my shoes and put my shoes on, I'm gonna have an overhang. And as you notice, I got the dollar store shoe there. And I just coat that. Now, if you're using the Easter eggs, you're still gonna be about an inch high for the shoes. So you got about a half inch there, so it's not touching the ground. If you're using something where you're making legs, I don't use, I don't make legs on mine, at least I haven't. Uh, but if you're making legs on it, say you've got something that's a good four, five, six inches, lengthen that. Lengthen the you know inches on there to lengthen your coat. Same thing if you're making a cone. If you have a cone and say the cone's nine inches, make it nine inches and then bring it down about a half inch so that you have that space there. So when you do put the shoes on, the coat's over, but it's not coming all the way down to the ground. Now what I do when I put the coat on here is I kind of just gently peel back the back here a little bit, just at the top, and I glue that on. We'll get that in place there. Just hold it there for a moment. Again, I'm covering the beard on this side, the beard on this side, hanging over here. I don't glue the rest of it on until the very end. What I wanna do is be able to, if I'm adding accessories, if I'm doing something else where I'm gonna be moving my coat a bit or I wanna put something just inside the coat, the coat flap open a little bit. So I don't glue that down till the very end. Here again, I wanna, you know, I wanna put some accessories around. Uh, if you guys remember the Captain Graybeard, his coat is identical, same thing, same way I planned it out there. And he's got a treasure chest and his coat's actually up on the treasure chest. So that's why I don't glue that down until after I'm done. Now, as I've got that on there, those of you that actually use, use arms, I'm, I'm sure most people are doing that by now is using the arms. I'm gonna add my arms to it. Stick that on there, go around to the other side. Get my other arm on. Again, I'm just trying to put these together here to give you a quick show here. And once I got my arms glued in place, then I'll take something to line the coat. It can be a faux fur, it can be a yarn, uh, it can be anything that you, know, you want as far as lace or along that line to go, or you can just keep it plain. I mean, this looks nice and simple just like that, but it's a beautiful coat there without anything on it. I'm probably gonna put some lace or something on there to fill that in eventually too. But what we'll do here, I just took some some faux, faux fur, just a short pile, not my long pile that I usually use for the beards. And I'm just gonna glue glue that on underneath my arm, run it down the side here, the coat. And again, for time's sake, I'm not gonna glue the whole thing down. Normally I would run glue all the way down I'm just gonna glue it down to the bottom here. Again, we're gonna be sort of expedient here. And with this, I'm running down the side. I could also run along the back here to give it more, more there. But again, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that for right now. And I also do the sleeves. Keep 
quick cut there. Here, once I get both sides done, I'm going to have a hat, of course, make, give me the nose on them and everything, and we're going to be able to put together a Santa Claus, and I know this is just quick and simple, but you can see how you can put together a coat easily with this and make yourself a Santa with a Santa coat there. I said, I've done it with a di couple different ones. Uh, this one played with a little bit. And when I started working with it, I looked at that and I said, wow, that'd be great for St. Patty's too. I can work on something, come up with a coat for St. Patty's Day. And just to introduce somebody to you, if you guys don't remember or haven't seen yet, meet Daryl. Daryl, I worked on for Thanksgiving. And this is actually one of his coats for Thanksgiving that we did. It's the identical coat, just doing a cutout from that same pattern and just opening it up, putting it on there. And there we go. Add a turkey and I have my Thanksgiving Daryl there. So the coat's been used quite a bit for me. It's been an easy thing to do. You can see that there's a whole variety of different things I can make with that same simple coat. Uh, the pattern's just the same as my pattern there for the body, basically, except I'm putting it on backwards. The other thing, a little extra bonus here, just to tell you too, that we can do, I'm gonna grab a different body here. And I know we're going into Christmas here, uh, but we are not trying to skip over the other holidays too. So we have our Thanksgiving. Here we can do our pilgrim coat here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I know I'm cutting without the pattern, but I've done it so many times now with the coat that even, you know, you can get to the point where you're doing it too. Give me something simpler here. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it here right on the, you know, on this, but just to show you, I'm going to put that together what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that a witch. I now have a cape for my witch. I'll put the hair on there, put her all together, and we'll see in a couple days I'll be able to post for you a witch. So that is the simple, basic Santa Claus coat. I know I ran through things real quickly and just tried to put together something just to show you, but with this simple pattern, you too can make a coat and it doesn't matter what pattern you're using. If you're using a sock, if you're using a comb, you too can follow just a simple outline and make a coat, attach the arms. And again, just come up with some beautiful things. I bought the, you know, this, this material at Joann's. Gonna make another beautiful, you know, gnome out of this. And here we can go into all the different holiday seasons using the same different coat. Uh, some of the big Daryls, I actually put the belt around here, decorated. I've actually done some where I've actually put pockets on the coats too. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's great gnomes. I know everybody's been doing such beautiful work. And I love to see everything. I'm just so sorry that our you know, all of our craft shows have been canceled and everything pretty much this year, but we still will have our holidays that we will be able to sell online. And I'm sure we'll have some craft shows for the holidays too in some areas. So I hope that helps. You guys have a great time now. Thank you.